When we opened the National Museum of African American History and Culture, we had a small display of Art Smith's work in the Cultural Expressions Gallery, and the majority of the materials were on loan um, from other collectors and other museums. But I knew immediately that we wanted to bring this artist um, into our collection, so I began to look around for what was available for sale at auctions or um, online. Even eBay was, could sell Art Smith work and through different dealers. But I also thought it would be a good idea to reach out to his former partner, Charles Russell. Charles Russell had just finished a biography of Art Smith that he had written. So I got to know him a little bit and went to visit him and was wowed to find that everything that helped us tell the history of the man, the making of the man, was still in Charles's possession. His parents, birth certificate, family photo albums of him of every age, letters written to him from friends. There are photographs relating to his jewelry, re business receipts. Everything that relates to, I think, um, him being a gay man, I think is within that archive. So I feel like we, in a way, the two collections that exist right now, the one at the Brooklyn Museum, which is about the work he created in the store, and our collection, which is about the man, right? The full man and his family life, his, his relationships, and elements of his artistry in the store as well, um, speak to each other in, in very important ways and allow us to be able to create more opportunities for researchers to come in and get to know who Art Smith really was.